said sharp news. We have some interesting news reports for you tonight. Talking of the headlines right now is what was a suspected murder, which has turned out to be an overdose. An overdose on sugar. Jess Morrison heard the reports. It was two days ago that a suspected murder happened, only to find out it was not a murder, but a sugar overdose. Grace, the best friend of the victim, knew about her terrible eating habits, but did not see a problem with her. She knew that she was eating a lot of sugar, but I didn't know it was possible for it to be so serious and would it ever get to the point of death. Rosemary Nella Cruz was only 24 when she died of a sugar overdose, and before they found out what it really was, it was thought to be a murder, because no evidence could be pr provided and neither could any suspects. After talking to Grace McPherson, it was clear the death was unintentional and not caused by someone else. Grace, you were very close to Rosemary, correct? Yes. And how were you affected by her eating so much sugar over time? Because I spent so much time with her, I slowly became used to it, so it didn't faze me much, but she grew very distant over time. She used to always be up for doing fun things, so there would be whole day activities, and then she'd suddenly be so tired that she wouldn't want to do it anymore, and just wanted to sleep into it. And how did that affect your relationship or friendship? Well, it meant that I saw a lot less of her, and so we slowly grew apart, and when I did see her, she would, she would just want to sit around and do nothing. We're here to talk to nutritionist Zayden Corbett about why these things may have happened to Rose. You see, Rosemary was consuming so much sugar daily that her physical well-being, as well as her emotional well-being, was always in varying degrees of sickness. She was showing signs of type 3 diabetes long before she died. Sugar drinks have taxes. Stay tuned for more. 